Hi everyone, I know it's been a long time since I did a video and I apologise for that, there is a good reason though, I might do explain in another video. So here I've got the Ghostbusters 1 and 2 Digibook, which I ordered from Amazon.com. Really nice Digibook as well, nice and secure. Uh, I know it's probably a crime among film watchers, but I have never owned... Uh, Ghostbusters in any home format at all, not in VHS or DVD or Blu-ray or anything. Uh, so this was a great chance to get both of them uh, in one go. So just looking at the side there, you got Ghostbusters 1 and 2, the nice 30th anniversary logo there. On the back, you can read that hopefully. This is the 4K version, nice and glossy as well. Bonus features I haven't watched the film yet, but I've uh, inserted it. And the picture looks absolutely fabulous. And it is all region. Knowing that it was a Sony, I knew that this would be okay to get. And you just comes wrapped up. You've got the nice little 30th anniversary logo there. It was only... Uh, little seat here only $19 and for some reason I got a promotional certificate so I've basically got shipping free so I basically came to just $20 for both films I think it's pretty cool open it up and you get a nice card here from Ivan Reitman, the director of both of them. Uh, talks mainly about Ghostbusters. And then right at the bottom, this tiny paragraph is about Ghostbusters too. Some ads. That's the... Uh, download code and then just some ads for Ghostbusters related stuff Krispy Kreme, Donuts, the soundtrack Funko Pop stuff and then onto the actual discs you open it up and you find that I get two Ghostbusters discs which is great I know that Ghostbusters 2 has a bad reputation but I didn't think they would want to not insert a Ghostbusters 2 disc that badly. So I phoned Amazon up and they're sending me a brand new one. So I'll end up with three Ghostbusters discs. I don't even, I didn't even have to send any pictures or anything. They just said, sure, we'll send you a brand new one just like that. Uh, I suppose that's one of the good things about Amazon.com. They're great at sending replacements I once bought a Marvel omnibus worth $75 and they just um, replaced it just like that so I had two of them so onto the actual digibook really nice pictures really glossy got some storyboards here I think I'll zoom out a bit And it goes on to the story of Ghostbusters. And this was written recently because unfortunately it does say um, the late Harold Ramis in it. Some really nice pictures here. And then on to Ghostbusters 2. Mm. 
gradually back to special effects. And then this I thought was just, it felt a bit weird, it felt just like filler. It's got the original bios of the stars. I thought it would have been nice if uh, they could have put some more pages in. And next to the original bio, put a current bio. But they didn't do that. It just felt a bit like filler, they went out of ideas and put this in to fill space. I think they should have put... A current bio next to it to show how the stars have progressed what they've done since then they've got a the director Ivan Reitman bio and then that's it but yeah I definitely think it's worth buying you can't get it here in the UK um, in stores you have to get it online but definitely worth getting one of the better digital packs that I've seen so far uh, but don't go for the um, statue combo because that one's just way too much overpriced and probably like uh, the ET digipack spaceship it will tumble down in price and you'll be able to get it for 20, 30 quid in a few years time. So I hope you enjoyed that quick review review of it. It comes, uh, just have a quick look at the languages. If you have a look at Ghostbusters 2, the subtitles seems to come in every single language on this planet. So that's pretty good. If you want to learn some languages get this and put in Ghostbusters 2 that's one way of making you watch it take care peace bye